Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aryan Malik and this is Study With Me series. Today is day 8 and we'll be covering calcium channel blockers today. So, calcium channel blockers are like valium for your heart. And what do I mean by valium? They calm the heart down. So, say if your heart is tachycardic, could it stand some relaxing? Yes. And what type of drug will you give? A calcium channel blocker. You won't give a calcium channel blocker when a patient is undergoing shock, heart attack, or tachyarrhythmias. In tachyarrhythmias, yes, you can give them, but when they're going through a shock or a heart block, uh, it's a straight no. Um, if a patient has heart attack and you want to rest the heart, then we give calcium channel blockers. So now let's deep dive into the calcium channel blockers. So there is um, inotropic, chronotropic and tromotropic. We'll get to their meanings, but remember that calcium channel blockers have negative inotropic, negative chronotropic and negative tromotropic. It's like valium for your heart. Um, and inotropic, what does it mean? It's the strength of the heart. Positive inotropic is strong heartbeat. Negative inotropic is weak heartbeat. Chronotropic is rate of heartbeat. Positive chronotropic will be fast heartbeat. And negative chronotropic will be slow heartbeat. Dromotropic is conductivity of the heart. Positive dromotropic will mean excitable heart. And negative dromotropic will mean block or slow conduction. So now let's analyze what will be the cardiac depressants and cardiac stimulants in the list we just uh, discussed. So positive uh, inotropic, positive chronotropic, positive dromotropic will be cardiac stimulant because they are stimulating. They have strong heartbeat, it's fast heartbeat and uh, it's promoting the conduction of the heart. So it will be cardiac stimulant and cardiac depressants will be negative inotropic, negative chromotropic and negative dromotropic. The, the negative inotropic, chronotropic and dromotropic are mainly seen with calcium channel blockers and beta blockers, the medicines or the drugs that work directly on the heart and their main responsibility is to weaken, slow down and depress the heart. And what are the indications of calcium channel blockers? So they are uh, like I use um, like a way to remember them is A A A A A A. So what do I mean by that? First A, antihypertensive. They decrease the blood pressure. How do they do that? Uh, when we, the blood pressure is high, um, they relax the heart and the blood vessels leading uh, into the decreasing of blood pressure then they are AA meaning anti-angina which means they relaxes the heart so it uses less oxygen so the they, they work by decreasing the oxygen demand of the heart and what's the worst thing uh, something can happen for a patient with angina their heart can speed up, so we need to slow it down. That's why calcium channel blockers are used in this scenario. Then now, next is AAA, anti-atrial arrhythmias. So they treat anything that um, starts with A, so like uh, starts with atrial actually, so atrial flutter, atrial fibrillation, and anything atrial, so like premature atrial contractions, paroxysmal atrial tachycardia, atrial by Gemini, but there's like one exception. So uh, if it shows up, which medicine or drug will you use for supraventricular tachycardia? We'll be using calcium channel blocker because supraventricular, what does supra means? Supra means above. Above ventricles, we have the atria. So it is treating the atria. So we'll be using the calcium channel blockers in this scenario. Now, what are some side effects of calcium channel blockers? H and H, headache and hypotension. Now, why does the drug gives hypotension? 
because it relaxes the heart and blood vessels so hence the hypotension and why the headache because there is vasodilation in the brain which gives a migraine now uh, a tip actually for NCLEX is headache is actually a great thing to check off selectol that apply uh, why do I say that because if you have low sodium you have headache you have high sodium you have headache you have low blood pressure you have headache you have high blood pressure you have headache you have low blood glucose you have headache you have high blood glucose you have headache so in many scenarios headache is a uh, common across so that is a uh, really kind of a safe option to go when you are puzzled like whether i should pick it or not now let's talk about the names of some calcium channel blockers and what is the best way to remember them so anything that ends with depine remember it depine not just pine depine for example amlodipine nifedipine so remember depine not pine because like atropine ends with pine but not depine so it's not a calcium channel blocker blocker so anything that ends with depine that's a calcium channel blocker and two others except the depine to know are verapamil or this other name is isoptin or cardizem or commonly known as diltiazem so these are the two other drugs verapamil diltiazem to remember and when it comes to both of them verapamil and uh, diltiazem which of do you think will be continuous iv drip it will be diltiazem and when we give calcium channel blockers what vital sign do we monitor we monitor for blood pressure because of the side effect of hypotension so it is really important to monitor for blood pressure and how are we going to interpret it so if the blood pressure uh, say like we know that there is like systolic and diastolic systolic is the higher number so the if for example say blood pressure is 120 over 68 120 is a systolic so if it falls below 100 say 90 over 60 then in that case we need to hold the channel uh, calcium channel blocker and we have to monitor for the blood pressure intermittently it has to be done constantly while the patient is on a uh, verapamil diltiazem or any calcium channel blocker and if it goes below 100 we need to slow the drip we need to titrate it we need to change the iv rate to keep the systolic blood pressure over 100 i hope you found this video helpful uh, please stay tuned as we will be going over more important topics uh, in the future videos. This is Study With Me series. This is Aryan Malik signing off. Thank you.